All right, guys, this is my third and final video about this Atomic EFI fuel injection system. I'll show you guys real quick what I did to get this going. I'm sorry I delayed a little bit because uh, I did have issues with my uh, my um, engine here. Well, not issues. I just had issues with my, my belts here and my, my water neck. Um, I had to resolve with those issues, and I fixed them. And another one important thing is the is the timing. Uh, you got to make sure your timing is right here. If it's not, you will have some problems with your with your uh, with your throttle body trying to trying to get it um, going and stuff like that. But after I fixed the the, the, the timing on here, took care of all those issues. Um, one thing uh, uh, I did was uh, I mount the uh, the device right here, the module. You can see it's right there. Uh, and then uh, right there and then uh, hooked up all the wiring to where they need to go real easy uh, diagram in the manual when you get the system real easy and so you should have no problems with that um, later down the road I might post a video when I do the timing control um, I think you have to have an ignition um, module or something like that to have hooked up here which uh, if I do do it I'll, I do uh, I will post that video I do that anyways um, so here's a here's the motor I said everything's hooked up to it and everything like that so Here's my handheld, which is plugged in uh, to the module, and it comes all the way over here. And I just put it right here for now. I will put it in the, the firewall later, but I'm going to show you guys real quick, just right here, real fast. Um, so, as soon as I turn my ignition on, it should pop up here. There it goes. And there it is. Uh, atomic dash, you can see it's basically the layout of the whole system, what's going on. Um, Tachometer, obviously the motor's turned off, but when it is on, it'll tell you the actual um, RPM, stuff like that. Uh, ECT, I think, is the temperature of the motor. Um, 199, I, I turned it on a little while ago, that's why it's kind of warm. Um, and then uh, all the other um, stuff there that shows um, fuel pressure, um, batteries, um, the voltage, um, and the AF ratio. All that stuff. Ignition timing is off right now because when you do do a setup, the ignition, uh, if you decide to go to the ignition timing, it will display on there for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Real easy. Um, tells you everything was going on. Um, we'll go back to initial setup. When you have to, uh, when, before you turn on your motor, it does tell you to go through the setup. Um, obviously, your engine displacement is going to be your engine size. This is a 350 motor. It, you can put whatever number you want there. VA, of course. And okay, here's the issue I had before the camshaft type. Okay. Um, I had it on street street stock, yeah, street stock, um, which was um, I think when I was on the highway it was giving me issues because I I floored it, and I heard I heard the thought about making some poppy noise. I don't know if it was trying to, um, it seemed like it was sucking for gas. So when I when I re, when I changed it to um, not performance to mild, it took it got rid of that noise. And now I can floor it on the, on, the, on the highway about 70 miles an hour, 75, no issues. So I think that was the issue. So just make sure what size your cams have, your cam is, and uh, you should have no problems. Um, and all these stuff, you just basically, it's just plug, just, you know, just put what you, you got, drive it. If you don't like it, just change it. You could always change anything you want. Advanced setups. Um, uh, one thing I did do in advanced setup is this pump squirt. It was on 25%. I think I, I did 30%. I don't know if it did anything. Um, maybe that was another because this is before I did uh, before I had an issue. Uh, I, I did fix it with uh, by changing this uh, to 30, and I don't know if it helped me anyway uh, when I did uh, had that issue with the popping. But um, that took care of that, and then I also did the power valve enrichment. I also moved up to 5%, uh, which was uh, it was at 15, now it's at 20. So yeah, it's basically again that module, uh, real easy setup, diagnosis, tells you what's going on with your motor. Well, there you go. I got an error right there. Didn't even know that was up. Um, I gotta check what that's up. I didn't even know that was up. But anyways, I'll look at that. We'll see what that is, and then uh, display setups. Um, and basically going up with the, uh, you know, obviously with the controller, which you what, which your your likes on here. But anyways, um, yeah. So here's the. Um, block the module here real easy setup um, again um, no issues yet um, been driving around my, in my neighborhood um, you know uh, this past couple weeks with no issues yet um, and now it is hot out here um, I think today was about 95 something like that so kind of I don't like driving in the heat 
um, with the, you know, top on. So maybe down the road I'll put a top on or some um, bikini top so I could drive it. But, um, yeah, that, that's basically it. Um, I mean, I don't know if you guys have any questions about the setup. Um, well, I recommend it. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, you don't have to mess with it, anything like that. But uh, if you guys didn't have any questions or anything else, just let me know. And um, I'll try to uh, respond to your comments or anything like that. All right. So I guess I'll see you guys later. And uh, this is uh, this is awesome doing this uh, little project. Um, if I have any other, I'll post them on Facebook, on, on Facebook, on 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 YouTube. All right. Later.